<laughs> oh fuck! Our narwhals real for a beer. What? Oh, he's that right, buddy. He's that right. Think the back pressure's enough to eject a baby. Out of the <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Drinking and Driving Podcast and or show, whichever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, uh, on this podcast, we basically take a look at cars, review beer, and yeah, that's about it. Anything really has to do with cars or beer. So, yeah. First beer. I'm the car guy. He's the beer guy, so he's going to bring in the beer. So on every episode, we're going to be reviewing three beers, and our first one for today is... Uh, oh, Jesus Goose, that. Goose Island 312. Ooh. So uh, go ahead and take one of those, buddy. What's that? Ooh. You slammed that down. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> what is this, John? Is it IPA? It's a, no, it's a urban wheat ale. I've never had any Goose Island. I'll go ahead and put these back down here. Oh, that's good. That's really good. You like it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bright, lemony. A bit hazy, four point two percent. All right, That's and here in a few minutes, we'll go ahead and give that a rating. Um, but until then, I guess we're just uh, going to go ahead and start off with some car news. You got anything, buddy? Let's do it. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. First thing I want to talk about, uh, and we had to argue on the name for a little bit. Uh, it's a Koenigsegg Gamera. All right. Now, most people never even heard of Koenigsegg, but. It's a supercar company, and they've only made like seven or eight cars ever. But uh, recently, they came out with a new car, and it's it's a supercar with four seats. Yeah, and it broke a record for the most amount of torque it in a car. Of this. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's also a hybrid. What's that called? The Kon- Koenigsegg Gamera. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I do like that. So, 1,677 horsepower hybrid. Yeah, hybrid car. That's that means- one thing. Those wheels are pretty fucking thin, though. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And so far, it's only in one color. Uh, gray with yellow interior. Conan Segamera. Uh, 1,677 horsepower hybrid hybrid GT with four seats. Goes 248 miles per hour. Jesus. It's a little faster than your average sedan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that technically a sedan? It's a two-door. No, that's a, it's so, a coupe with that's four a coupe. doors. Two doors. Four seats. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's some strong beer, guys. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. So, it's like it's like the Mustang hypercars. Because Mustangs have back seats. And so do Camaros. Yeah. What's the price on it? Price on that bad boy? Oh, it's uh they don't know yet. Likely over one million. That's pretty reasonable, I'd say. With only three hundred units, fifteen kilowatt battery, and a tri motor setup. On electrons alone, I don't know why they're calling them electrons. Is that what it's is that what, I don't know electric cars. It's like really. gallons. <laughs> it's like gallons, but electricity is how that works. Like miles to the electron. <laughs> miles per electron. Yeah. Miles per electron? <laughs> yeah, that's is that how you do it? Anyway. It's capable of 31 miles yeah. on electrons alone. <laughs> Top speed of 186 just off the electricity. So that's pretty good. Okay, so combined it's 248. Yeah, when it's in hybrid. Okay, mode. that's cool. Yep. Six airbags. So you can you can take your kids to work in it. You can take you can go to Walmart in this thing. Look at that. Look you at that Walmart. You're gonna show Walmart one of these things. <laughs> that's a bad <laughs> idea. I would not leave that in the Walmart parking lot. Oh man. Go back to the interior. The interior? Look at that. That's Oh, it's crazy. That is, that is pretty. I found, mm. I found a kitty. A spade. All right. First things first, toss him over. I want to. <laughs> I want to introduce him. Let's put him up here. There you go. Yeah. This is the. Uh, it's the studio mascot. Is Spade. He's a Persian. He's going to turn a year old on June seventh, aren't you, buddy? You could, yeah, there you go. Almost a year old already. Breathe huh? into it. Hey, he's chills. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, buddy? Isn't that right? Um, the one thing about Koenigsegg that uh, <laughs> makes it a Koenigsegg is uh, the front. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> There's cat air in my mouth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> one thing about Koenigsegg that makes it a Koenigsegg ugh, is the front windscreen or windshield, if you, if you want to call it the right one. 
uh, it wraps all the way around from the back of the the back of the front door all the way to the back of the uh, other front door. So it's a full a full windscreen. The car on, is only supposed to have technically two windows, one above the engine and one that goes all the way around the doors and the front of the car. And that's what makes it a Koenigsegg. Because if you look at it from the top, it looks like an arrow. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. The Gera, the Rigera, the 1-1, the CCX, they all have that same windscreen sort of shape. Dude, we got to talk about... We got to talk about... We got to talk about a car that's 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 fallen, that's never coming back again. Which car is that? There's a couple, but there's one that, oh, bless her heart, the uh, the Dodge Caravan is is permanently that's discontinued. Not, uh, if you drive a Dodge Caravan, I'm sorry. Well, hey, he wants to pull one out for the Dodge Caravan. I do want to pull right. it here. Okay. No, no, don't. That's a good beer, man. Come on, we we got that's more good of beer. Them. All right, whatever. To the caravan. How long was how long did the caravan live? When did it come out? How long was the caravan gonna live? Oh, there's a GT version. I didn't know that. Yeah, GTs are dope. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, oh, that's looking up long... Dodge <laughs> Dodge Grand Caravan. How long? And it gives me the length in inches. 189 inches. If you're wondering how <laughs> if anyone long. was wondering, does my Dodge Caravan fit in my garage? Well, it's 189 <laughs> inches long. So you. Sh- you sh- there's your measurement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fiat Chrysler is discontinuing the Dodge Grand Caravan minivan after nearly 40 years. And <laughs> they doesn't even say years. It says after nearly 40 and production will end in May. <laughs> Thus, Chrysler, now called Fiat Chrysler. That's amateur journalism. Created the minivan segment as we know. So they didn't say anything about the uh, the Chrysler Town and Country, which is basically the same car. Just doesn't look as good. I don't know why they're getting rid of the caravan, but goodbye boxy blandness. What does that Basically. say? That this goodbye boxy favorite. blandness. Yep. Okay, there's another car that got discontinued, and this one's pretty sad. Uh, and this one got we got to pour one out for this one. The Impala. The Impala, really? The Impala I mean, has been discontinued. Let's be honest. When was the last time the Impalas were cool? Uh, sixty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> Almost sixty years. <laughs> this is Jesus. just let's. I know the last color that came off the line. Uh, believe it was red. Paint code four thirty four B is the last Impala to to roll off the assembly line. Um, there's actually a video of it. There's a video of it. The video of the of last the Impala. Impala. It rolls off the line and then the whole plant shuts down. Oh, that's kind of sad. All those right. people out of work. Yeah. Was it before or after coronavirus? It was before. Because <laughs> so well, they were going to shut down anyways. At least they knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah. At least there's that. I won't I, I won't pour it out to that, but I'll cheers to it. Okay. Cheers to the Impala. Look up when it came out. 1957. Gee whiz. Look at that. Gee mm. whiz. a beaut. That was a pretty car back yeah, then. Yeah, it's a beaut. Let me tell you right Just now. Just over $2,500. That's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> now, what was well inflation? Am I right? What's the prices? You'd have any any you know coronavirus kid could get two of those checks and have a fucking fifty seven <laughs> Impala. God damn! <laughs> what uh, <laughs> what was the horsepower in those things when they came out? Uh, horsepower. Bet you it's a V six car. First generation, nineteen fifty eight, right there. A two hundred eighty three cubic inch engine with, uh, was with a V8. standard V eight. I told you ratings from one eighty five to two hundred ninety horsepower. That's it was a W. It's W block mm. for a V8. That's weird. That's pretty wild. It's like the a, old, it's almost the like a turbo thrust V8 was optional, <laughs> <laughs> producing 250 horsepower, 280 horsepower, or 350 horsepower. And they had fuel injection option back then. That's pretty advanced. And 58. Holy shit! It's pretty advanced for back in the day. Well. um... Here we got the uh, 59 Chevy. That's the second model. And so th- does that mean in th- it was 58 for the first debut, right? So they only have one year of that first generation Impala. They moved on to the second generation for two years. Huh. Very fast generations. They, that's what? a huge difference in the way it looks. Oh, yeah. That's your that's your low rider. That's your, that's your hoopty. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking put that thing on. Pop a joint in the back of that. Maybe a, maybe a beer or two. 
Drinking and driving does not condone drinking and driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we forgot about that one. Yeah. <laughs> this is a show called Drinking and Driving, but on the show, we do not drink and drive at the same time. We just both enjoy doing those things separately. This is true. Anyway, uh, about that time. Oh, review. I think I think what we do, we just go instinctively, instinctively with it. Just I count down to three, and you rate it one out of ten, same time. One out of ten. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I think I got my number. You got your number. I got my number. So, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, six. seven. It's pretty close. Six and a half. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. We got a total six and a half. I wouldn't chug this beer. It's not a. It's not a partying beer. It's got good taste for sure. Um, I like it. it I says, like it. I'm gonna have another actually. I'm just go ahead and. Uh, Grab that right there. It says lemony. It's definitely lemony, but it's not like summer shandy lemony. Like expect thing work. It's uh, or it's not like Bud Light lemonade, lemony. It's just smooth. Goose Island Beer Company. It's, and it's it's not as light as a uh, like Bush Light. It's about as heavy as I don't know, like a Bud Light. A little bit heavier than a Bud Light. A little bit heavier. Yeah. Definitely tastes better than a Bud Light. That's fair. We'll rate Bud Light at some point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Let's talk about the new Corvette. Hey, now. Hey, hey. watch it, buddy. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that got way louder. <laughs> Still getting used to this setup. Yeah. It's uh, a little it's different. All Actually, right. For those, of you, up. for those of you that haven't heard, and if you haven't heard, you probably don't have internet um <laughs> uh the, the c8 corvette is eighth generation yeah, corvette uh, it's so a it's the first ever mid-engine corvette and what mid-engine means is uh that the engine is either on top of the rear tires or in between the back of the seats and the, the rear wheels uh basically modeled after a lamborghini ferrari uh, some porsches uh oops it's a, it's like an American supercar, I guess. Ford's been doing it for a long time with the Ford GT, with the, especially with the GT40 back in the day. Um, they've been doing it for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. But Corvette, they're kind of going out of the box. Oh, what's up, Spade? Good. I don't know why. I just thought, like, did I hit record? Did I do that? I don't know. Oh, good lord. <laughs> I that hit record. That it's horrible. okay. We would have had the act. <laughs> <laughs> well, Goose Island. Beer Never had too. that beer before. That's pretty fucking good, actually. Mm. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Fuck that. Um, all right. Have you actually had this before? No, I've never had this. No. Hmm. It, it's IPA-ish. I've had it once. It's it's like a light IPA. How does it how do describe it? Wheat. 4.25% alcohol. 4.25? Where do you see that? Sorry, I, need, I don't have my glasses on fucking blind yeah but uh yeah good anyway back to the corvette yeah uh, let's pull up the price on it now price is the craziest thing uh when this thing first debuted being a mid-engine american supercar and with the title corvette uh the last not bad yeah i know that's but, not bad at all I'd, I'd buy one of those oh yeah buy the, that money the c7 <laughs> the c7 corvette the generation before uh the ZR1 they came out with had a big spoiler on it. It was made for the track. Those were going upwards 90s, like maybe even hundreds when they first came out. And this car currently, a 2020 C8 Corvette MSRPs for 58.9. That I, I it just doesn't it just doesn't make any sense. I like it. Oh, I like it too. You know that probably means though, it's just a lot of reused parts. <laughs> Ooh. There's no way they could, especially not with the things lately. There's no way the price could be that low, it's unless a, they're reusing tons of parts. It's a six-two liter, um, and if, Actually, if I remember let's, right, let's find out. That's let's straight see. out of a, that's straight out of the the, uh, the newer Camaro LT1. You having fun with that bottle cap down there, buddy? Oh yeah. No. Never mind. Uh, the article right here: Chevy only used one C7 part on the C8 Corvette. Only one. Take That's a cool. wild guess. Go back. Well, hold on. What's what you guess? What'd you guess? I'm gonna say it's either the mirror. <laughs> I think it's the center mirror, or the steering wheel. I know it's not the steering wheel. I know it's not the steering. Yeah, wheel. It looks different. 
Uh, yeah, I've been in a, been in a C7, um, and the rest of the dash looks looks pretty similar. How it kind of folds around the driver's side, uh, the drive the the mirror. You might be pretty fucking onto something, but I want to say no. Nope. The gear shift. It's the interior door latches. What? <laughs> yeah. So that's you would have thought. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> the buttons that operate the latches aren't the same, but it appears the latch itself is. Maybe carrying over that part is how the Corvette will cost less than sixty grand. I told don't. you, man. Reuse parts. Uh, that's how cheap it is. While the engine has been up, get updated to become the LT2 instead of the LT1, like in the Camaro, there are likely components within the engine that have stayed the same. It's still impressive that GM was able to keep the price down while only carrying over yeah, one piece of the car. That's Especially the brand new engine, then. That's crazy. Because they're not using you know, Ferrari engines. No, they're, they're using so. the LT2. That's cool. Um, that, that's from uh, Road and Track, if anybody's wondering, if anybody wants to look up that article. If you've ever been in a newer C7 or a C8 Corvette, the one they're they're so fucking low to the ground that like you almost pull a hernia <laughs> getting into it. But <laughs> also the uh, uh, the whole center console wraps around. It feels like a spaceship. Just for you, buddy. Oh, thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. You can polish that one off. Mm-hmm. Look at that. This is a problem. This is like right in view of sitting down height. That's so loud. <laughs> it's not that loud. <laughs> Get some little ASMR for you weird fucks out there. <laughs> oh, let me listen to that. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. Oh. I, hey, now listen. If you watch this ASMR videos, it's whatever, man. But I can't do it. Like those girls. You're fucking weirdo, all right? Those girls eating like. Chicken wings. I don't like. That's just fucking creeps me out. I don't know. I can't do it. Or just the the sip of a beer. <laughs> <laughs> that was really detailed. That was like a like a that sounded like the polar bear off the Coca Cola commercials. <laughs> 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 or like you just drink some Sprite from McDonald's. <laughs> the real spicy yeah, shit. Coke. McDonald's. You get Coke at McDonald's. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows Sprite's the spiciest at McDonald's. All right. In the comments. Coke which, or Sprite? Which one's spicier at McDonald's? Because Spi- I'm Spi- a co- What do you mean by spicy? That electrified feel when you're in, when you when you electrified? there's something in, yeah, like you haven't had a you haven't had a pop in like three weeks. Oh yeah, you know it. I I love. I would rather drink Coke over Sprite. Don't get me wrong. But when you go to McDonald's, there's a certain electrifyingness about the about the Sprite. You can't. You can't. There's no way. There's no way they're putting fucking crack in it. <laughs> nah, it's definitely Coke. All right, hundred percent. McDonald's Sprite or Coke in the comments. Go for it. Spade, Team Coke. Spade, here's a bottle cap. Go get it, buddy. Good there boy. Good boy. What a good boy. Oh, you guys can't see it, but he's definitely being a good boy. What were we talking about? Uh, C8 Corvette. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fucking sweet. Look up the colors on it. I want to see the colors. Now, we didn't talk at all about what we do outside of this podcast, because obviously we're professionals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Why are we doing this? Yeah. Why, does it, why is it drinking and driving? We didn't talk about that at all. Yeah. Um, so Long story short. Right? I'll, I'll go first. Cool. We're talking about colors. <laughs> are we talking about car colors? Are we talking about the podcast? Uh, I was going to talk about what like what our jobs are outside of here. Okay. 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 Go first. You, you, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Goddamn. Oh, fuck. Well, uh, so I paint cars. To put it pretty simply, um, I've been doing it since I was like 16, uh, and like not like in a barn, but like in a shop. I currently work for a Ford dealership. Uh, I'm a head painter in a uh, in a five six man body shop. Um, oh wow, look at those! Holy, yeah, yeah. Let's go. All right, uh, which click one? that. Click which that. one. Click the oh, which click, one. Click which the article. I'll tell you which which of these colors are new and which are not new. Hey, can you, you tell tell the story first about why we're here? Uh, you tell it. Why we're here? 
Okay, so long story short, like I was going to say before, <laughs> I'm a bartender. This guy paints cars. So I'm the drinking side. He's the driving side. I like cars also. And of course, he likes drinking. So we made a podcast. That's about it. It's pretty simple. Yep. Um, and we're going to try to talk about cars and try to talk about beer as much as possible. But uh, there's no way it's all we're going to be able to do. No, we'll be also, talking. That's a lot more colors. Than we'll I be talking about McDonald's Sprite here and there. I mean, okay. Ooh. What we got? Long Pretty. Beach. <laughs> go go down. Let me see those colors. Well, look, you can. I can see the I can see the names of them, dude. Oh, you want to see the names? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can. Colors, like, let me see if I can guess dude, one that's of pretty. them. Pretty. That so orange is nice. I don't know that orange. Well, this is probably what it actually looks like. I think your TV's got a lot of contrast. Okay, sounds good. That next green is a uh, chaos. That that that's a color, that color is called chaos. I believe so. Uh, go to the next one. Man, that doesn't look like a Corvette though. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, it's mid-engine, right? It's mid-engine. Yep. The motor is behind the seats. Which if it's if so you've weird. never if you've never heard of that being a thing before, like literally every Lamborghini, every Ferrari, they're almost all mid-engine. So it's not it's not like it's like dangerous or anything. Uh no. it's for weight displacement. Yeah. Makes it a race car. Your trunk is in the front. You pop the hood and it's your it's your trunk. Yeah. That's the first Corvette ever to have that yep. mid-engine displacement absolutely that's a beautiful color like that black so the charcoal it was a gray. blue Ooh, Ooh. what is that i had no clue it looks pearlescent that's like a pearlescent brown that's wild um, uh that's 636r that's a silver they've been doing that silver since I feel like i'm 90s. picking out my car color on gta right now <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's probably 8624 white i like that. that's beautiful i actually i had a corvette on gta and it was that color yeah, Corvette on GTA or a fucking uh, like a, a it's lot. C7. Is it like the actual actually... Coquette? Oh, okay. It's GTA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna say GTA. Shout it? out to Caleb. He played GTA with me a lot. He knows what I'm talking about. Hey, yo, Caleb. <laughs> Shout out, brother. <laughs> <laughs> these are not the lightest thing. <laughs> these, dude. I. You're saying these aren't light, but oh god. The other night. And I was drinking Modelo's and Dos Equis, and I was going, Modelo, Dos Equis, Modelo, Dos Equis. I had 12. You're talking about the other night, right? Yeah. Two nights ago. Oh, good guy. I had 12. And that's just a lot, man. We were playing, what was it, Boom Cup? Flippy Cup 2.0. Flippy Cup 2.0. Yeah. Uh, now, and goddamn. Modelo and Dos Equis, those are Mexican beers, but they are not light whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's pretty bad. So, yeah, I, I don't don't recommend playing drinking games with those. If you don't know what the bush. if you don't know what Flippy Cup 2.0 is, because I hope you know what Flip Cup One is or Flippy Cup. Flippy Cup sounds really like childish. Let's say Flip Cup. Flip Cup Flip. 1.0. Flip Cup. So, <laughs> are we gonna play with? Oh, here, let's there play a little mini Flip Cup. All right, this so is gonna normal, be pretty challenging. Normal you flip. Put, no, put you gotta put your beer in it. Oh, we're actually gonna do this. Yeah, we gotta do it the real way. Yeah, fuck it. So <laughs> let's let's do Flip Cup One first. All right, oh. to, to explain Flip Cup. Right. Well, OG. there's only two of us, is that? Yeah, it still work. It's just a race. Okay. Okay. All right. So, catch. I guess we cheers it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> so, that's Flip Cup one. Take a drink. God damn it. Okay. Uh, also, this this is played with normal size solo cups. Just if you're wondering. I'm better with small things. <laughs> You're better with small cups. Yeah. It's just small things in general. Small things. Yeah. Makes sense. So this is Flip Cup 2.0. Flip Cup 2.0 is a team game. So normally, uh, me and Johnny would be on a team, and we're going to be on a team this time. One side drinks, then the next side drinks, and then the first side that drink tries to flip their cup into their cup. Dude, there ain't no way in hell I'm catching that cup in this. All right. Well, we're going to see. Okay. All right. And are you flipping well, to yeah, me? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go first. I'll flip. All right. So you drink. I was the better I was the better flipper, right? You're the better, I was the better catcher. You're the better flipper. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, dude. We won. We won. If you, if you fucking wonder, won. there was five teams, and we won, actually. So Yeah, we drank. I drank you five, six beers in no. like a couple minutes. I, I do Saki Cinema Dell. <laughs> God damn. It. All right. They weren't great. Ready? Yep. So he drinks, I drink. Okay. No, you got to put it on the table, remember? <laughs> I'll catch it. I'll catch it. Oh, oh we're going to get it. We're going to absolutely going to get it. Yeah. Oh. 
dude. This is way harder with small cups. Oh, dude. Come That's on. pretty close. <laughs> Yay! Yeah! yeah. Woo! <laughs> Spade started running. <laughs> Spade got scared. Yeah, that's how you play, but you actually make it. But it's with you know normal size solo cups, so it's a little bit easier. No, oh, well, these, these things close. are just tiny. Anyway, you want to finish off these and then yeah. get our new beer? Yeah, yeah, it sounds like a plan. You got a you got a bit there. Not bad. <sighs> FYI. He doesn't know what beers I bought this week. Next week, I won't know what beers he bought. <coughs> so what do you want? Beer one or beer two? Beer one. Beer one? All right. Yeah, we'll burp you like this one. Here we got uh, Sierra Nevada Narwhal Imperial Stout. Well, um, it's know. a stout beer, so this is going to be a way different taste than what we had before. No, I like stouts. You, you told me to get a stout, didn't you? <laughs> well, I said a porter, but a porter. Okay. Anyway, in case you're wondering, that's what it looks like. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it doesn't smell like farts on set. <laughs> and we didn't just have a technical malfunction, but we're back. Here you go, Spade. Use bottle opener. Press the seal cap. Sierra Nevada. That's hot. Yeah. Anyway, while we were gone, we, we discovered that these were 10.2%. Uh, 10.2. Yeah. That's 10. pretty 2. strong. That's a strong beer. Yeah. It's a more than double the average. Cheers Not you there. Sure. To Narwhal. To Narwhal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! That's pretty good. Damn. <laughs> mm. My nipples are so hard right now. <laughs> That's good, man. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah. I'd, I'd play Flippy Cup with those. Fuck that, dude. I knew I knew when I picked it up, I was like, there's no way in hell that this thing is weak. Like, you don't name something after a fucking whale with a, a unicorn <laughs> head. Are narwhals real? For a beer. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, narwhals are real, bro. <laughs> Who the fuck named that animal? <laughs> narwhal. It's probably, probably some dude named Narwhal. He's like, I found this shit. I'm going to name it after myself. Yeah, he was probably lonely his whole life. You wanna, was, I'll look it up. You want to find out? We'll yeah, find out. let's oh, find out what his... It's, okay, I'm telling you right now. It was some guy named fucking Narwhal, and he was so fucking lonely that when he figured out he, he found this whale, he's like, you know what? So I can live on forever. I'm going to name this whale after me. That's Narwhal was narwhal. created. Oh, it's the uh, Icelandic words nar, meaning corpse. <laughs> and haval, havar, 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 meaning whale. So it's corpse whale. <laughs> oh, ain't that right, oh. buddy? Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Mm. You so tired. Yeah. He's so tired. Man. He's such a good boy. You know, usually beers, like, I'll tell you something that grow on me. I don't know about this one. I know. I'm going to give her a rating, buddy. Well, we got to drink it first. You got to finish it. Oh, you my God. You can't. <laughs> Holy We fuck. can't rate a beer without finishing it. That's just Woo! out of respect for the narwhals. We have to finish this beer. That's a lot of horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, there's one thing. as First thing that pops out. First thing that pops out other than asbestos. Uh, it, I, yeah, what does that taste like? Let's just dissect how it tastes. Uh, Chocolate. Coffee. I think more coffee. coffee. I think you get more of a coffee. It's real weak coffee, but I don't think it's chocolate. I think it's somebody, definitely cocoa. I think somebody ate, ate a Hershey's bar and shit it out, and they put it in this beer. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then they named it Narwhal. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Maybe it's Narwhal shit. <laughs> Let's Google it. Do Narwhals eat chocolate? <laughs> the answer, yes, of course. When I go to SeaWorld, I always throw them a piece. <laughs> you ever at SeaWorld, just throw your... Throw, just <laughs> go buy fucking Reese's. What is it? What's the whale's name at SeaWorld? Shamu. <laughs> I sea remember that. 
How did you remember that? I've been to SeaWorld once. Fuck SeaWorld. That was when Shamu was alive. I think he's dead now. Did you ever see when Sea uh, Steve-O? Was that SeaWorld? When he got on top of the crane? Steve-O? Steve-O? You know what fuck Steve-O is? I know who Steve-O is, but I don't know what you're talking about. Look up. Look up. <laughs> look up Steve-O on top of crane. SeaWorld. Now, if you guys have never seen this, oh, man. Steve-O fully arrested in Hollywood after this. So SeaWorld. go to an article about it. Well, there's a YouTube video. We don't need an article. Okay, we're live. Cool. That's true. Oh, shoot. I don't want to show that. <laughs> okay, so here's how this is going to work, folks. I'm going to broadcast this event in short chunks because, all told, it's going to take a while. Ah, but don't worry. I think it's going to be very worth it. All right, man. Like, people are starting to gather around a little bit. Ah. All right, I'm just going to go. Fucking wish me luck. <laughs> Alright, I got a lot of work to do now. Alright. How many cops do we have? We got one, two. I, I saw a bunch. <laughs> Can I zoom on this fucking Facebook sh That is a lot, a lot of fucking Five or six trucks. fucking, oh, that's uh, what that's it's nuts. called, fire trucks. <laughs> that's fucking nuts. I just sniffled, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I got it. We got it. We got the corona. Got the corona. <laughs> no more podcasts. I'm going to go to the hospital after this. I'm going to check myself in. No, we're good. I feel good. I feel great. I feel great. Damn. I don't feel good when I'm drinking this. But, no. You know. I'm going to try to drink without making a mm. face. I could. <laughs> God damn. It's not good, man. Oh, fuck. You know, it's funny because I've had other Sierra Nevada beers and they're also not good. I don't think it's just this. I mean, it's so hops. So much hops. Oh, that's a good time to mention our sponsor. Thank you, Sierra Nevada beers. <laughs> Sierra Nevada did not sponsor this video. <laughs> and if they called, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, probably not. No fucking yeah, way. That's not good. You I'm and sorry. your narwhal can eat a dick. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm yeah, what sure. is that, buddy? Uh, NMRA uh, Racing, National Mustang Racing Association, which is part of the uh, NMCA, National Muscle Car Association. Basically, uh, the NMRA is Mustangs only, for the most part. A couple Fords, like Lightnings and Falcons and shit like that. And then uh, the NMCA is everything. Literally. American-made muscle car. That's that's all it is. And uh, it's a drag racing series. Uh, super fun to watch. What kind of shirt you got on, buddy? Uh, Coors Light. <laughs> <laughs> now, I fucking hate Coors Light. <laughs> Coors Light. Better than Narwhal. Right? Whew, fuck. It's like a shot, dude. Oh my god. It's like, like wh whiskey? Kind of oh, whiskey ish? Jesus Christ, dude. Like I would he, rather drink that Jim Beam or that Cuervo. Like he could throw some Jim Beam in this and it probably he wouldn't notice. All right, let's go back to cars. Um, right. <laughs> Ford Bronco. Ford Bronco? If you're a, if you're a, a simp for OJ Simpson. <laughs> That was so Man, that's stupid. not cool. <laughs> that was so stupid. I was trying to be cool. Like, All right, after we look at this, that. though, we're going to look up some of OJ's tweets. Okay, so I'm pretty sure so far uh, there's three models of the Ford Bronco. Now, the baby Bronco, if you're uh, familiar with a, a Range Rover, uh, more not like an Evoque. It does look like a Range Rover. Click on that blue one right there. The blue one. That looks like a Range Rover. That looks like a Range Rover. Yep. And everyone. When, when that's the, kind, kind of disappointing. So that's that's the thing. When the Bronco first came out, that's the picture everybody saw. And everybody was like, oh, my God, it looks like shit, blah, 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 blah. Well, Ford's trying to adapt to different tastes. So that's why there's different models of the Bronco. Man, look at um, this one. I don't know, man. Now, I don't know if I can get behind that because I love the old Broncos. But now, now, now so, so there's still hope. So the baby Bronco is more of a consumer product. That looks like an old Bronco. That, that one right there, I know. If only Ford could fucking look at some of these renderers and, and just follow what they're doing because they'd look so much better. Now, let me show you something else. Uh, this is not a production car, but type in the Ford Bronco R. 
So that's a real that's a real Baja truck that Ford made for the Baja 1000. So if you look in the grill, it says Bronco, and then the R is, is, is like colored red. It's like a Bronco R, like a GTR. Yeah. Um, that that right there, that is supposedly the third model of Bronco that's coming out. Not Baja style, but something along the lines of being a little bit more. Uh, uh, that's kind of extreme. Yeah. So now, if you go yeah. to the left of that, that compares the uh, the Bronco R and a '70s '80s model Bronco right there. Okay. Dude, this is so hard. Difference. So hard to drink. <laughs> we got to finish it, man. I know. I, we won't rate a beer without ever finishing it. That's our problem. You heard it here first. I didn't know that was a fucking rule before we started. <laughs> <laughs> or else I. <laughs> and I wanna, I'll also be honest. I thought beer. I thought this beer would be better than it was. Well, you got a stout. If you got a porter, we'd be drinking. I've a had lot good milk. stouts though. I've had good stouts. This Guinness is, is a one. good stout. Guinness is a good Guinness stout. Is good. I like Guinness. If you guys don't know what a stout is. Basically, it's the heaviest fucking beer there is. It's um, very, very dark. There's like literally only one more beer that's heavier. It's Here, called a. Let me read you uh, how they describe it. Let me get my my good voice going. <laughs> Inspired by the mysterious creature that dwells in the deepest Arctic seas, Narwhal Imperial Stout is midnight black and bold with notes of baker's cocoa and dark roasted coffee. This massive imperial stout is incredibly complex and explores the darkest, darkest, <laughs> darkest depths of malt flavor. Massive. <laughs> I don't know why you would describe a beer as massive, unless it tastes like a massive turd. <laughs> Swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, about yeah. my blue gasket. Uh-huh. Oh, fuck. Woo. I wouldn't. I would never describe a beer as massive. No, just saying. You know what I would describe as massive? My personality. <laughs> you want to pull up another car? Yeah. All right. Let's well, switch. Actually, no, no. First, oh, OJ, OJ Simpson. We go back to OJ. Yeah. I love the old tweeter. You get the news first, kids. This is the one. This is the one. Now, there's a lot of fake OJ accounts out there. So this one, at the real OJ32, is the only official one. So this should be a lot of fun. I got a little getting even to do. So God bless. Take care. He's got a little getting even to do. What the fuck does that mean, man? It's kind of some old news, but OJ saying he's got a little getting even to do. <laughs> you, know, you know what he ran away in, right? Oh, yeah, Fort Bronco. Why one? All right. Next car. Let's do it. <laughs> Ooh, so good. Love it. All right, it's anyway. the best beer in the world. Next car. What's the next car? All right, we're gonna switch gears. Get away from the uh, Americana. We started with hypercar. We went to American stuff. We're gonna go back because there's a bunch of shit going on. Um, but let's switch gears and go to the BMW M8 Grand Coupe. Beautiful car. I don't think I've seen this actually. Oh, you're. Oh. Ooh, ooh. I should go to images. And now they have too. a competition version too. So go to the 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 uh, third on the bottom. This one. That's an actual color that, it, that like the a, car is available in. It's like a mint green. Oh, it's it's like pearlescent blue to green, flippity flop, flop to you, yeah. don't stop. I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> notice, just notice this, how it swept back. Yeah, it's, back like a, it's, 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 it's like a fastback. All right. I want to see power on this thing. Power. Power on the M8 Grand Coupe. <laughs> That's how they say it in Europe. Coupe. 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 <laughs> It could be MSRP of 130 grand. Dude, I can get, I can get two, two, two C8, C8 Corvettes. Corvettes for the price of one Grand Coupe. And you know what? That probably includes tax. The Grand Coupe is cheaper and more functional than other M8 models. Twin what turbo other fucking models they have. I didn't know they had any other models. Twin turbo V8 puts out a, a healthy 617 horsepower. All right. Horsepower per dollar. That's two hundred and ten dollars per horsepower. All right. But if you go for the Corvette, C8 Corvette, which is probably faster. Let's be honest. It's a fucking Corvette. It's a lot lighter. Uh, no. It's a lot lighter than a fucking BMW. I'll bet you. I'll bet you. I'll bet you. We can look up the specs on them. All right. Well, after this, hundred hundred dollars less. One hundred nineteen for one horsepower. Per horsepower, as opposed to two hundred ten dollars per horsepower. I've right? I've never looked at a car. 
like for horsepower per dollar. Oh. Horsepower per dollar. Man, if you're if you're looking at like what do you actually get out of this car in terms of a, you know racing mobile? Yeah, but with the, <laughs> with the with the BMW horsepower per dollar. You're, you're yeah, also, but the BMW, it's it's. I mean, you think it's going to beat the Corvette in a straight line? Yep. You think it would? Yep. Let's look it up. Three point zero seconds. Let's do the competition, the M8 competition. That's not very fast. That's not very fast. It's not very fast. I'm telling All you, right, because they're heavy cars, man. You're talking about uh, like they call it a coupe, but it's still got four seats. The Corvette does not have four seats. Go, 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 to, the go to the Corvette. Oh, three it's seconds. A fucking tie. three seconds to three it's a seconds. Fucking tie. Well, wow. You know, I'll, I can appreciate that. Okay, okay, I can appreciate. Okay, that no, stuff. we can go further than this. Quarter mile time of eleven point two. Go to the M8's quarter mile time. Now, if you guys, I know there's people out there that have been on a drag strip, but if you haven't been on a drag strip, quarter mile time of eleven point two. That's fucking moving. That's fucking moving. Um. 11.4. I was fucking right. <sighs> I told you so. Fuck. That's not much, but it beats it. So which one would you rather have? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not. Of course I have the Corvette. It's less than half the price and it's faster. I'd have the M8 Grand Coupe competition. For 100 Here, the first one we saw said 130 This one says $147,000. I get that Corvette for $59,000. You'd rather take Hell the Corvette? Hell yeah, I'm going with the Corvette. Oh, man. Hell yeah, every time. <laughs> man, I don't know how what much is it. I mean, N7s now. You can get an M7. It's probably about as fast, but yeah. way cheaper, right? Why wouldn't you do that? You got to think about horsepowers per dollar. Horse, I'm never going to per dollar. I'm never going to think about that in my life. I'm never going to think about that. Um, I don't know why I just thought of it, but let's talk about uh, this new Maserati coming out. These are all concepts. These are all concepts. Go to the white. It's not a thing yet. It's not a thing yet. But that is these. That's an actual shot. That is an actual shot. It looks kind of like a Ferrari. Ferrari. Yep. Or maybe like a, like a Cohen and Zeg and a McLaren had a baby. See that weird looking white and blue one? I've seen one of those in person. That's an MC12. Oh. We're trying to finish these. Motherfucker, dude. Ugh. I feel like we just got to power it out. Just put it down. Are you just chugging it? Are you chugging it? Oh, man. I, I got to do it. <sighs> it's so good. <sighs> Please make more of these. <coughs> I'm start tears in my eyes. <coughs> All right, you ready to rate it? Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! Are you ready? God. Are you ready? Yep. yep. All right. Three, Three two, one, one, two. One. So one point five. One point five. Now, why you, you rated it a one? Why'd you give it a, a zero two? on the scale or one? Zero is zero is on, on the scale. scale. Okay. Why'd I rate it a two? Because I feel like as bad as that is, there has to be something that tastes worse. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be something that tastes worse than that. Uh, I gave it a one because uh, if you just sip the beer, like if you just took one sip of the beer and you were done, it'd probably be decent. Like there's a decent chocolatey like like uh, coffeeness to it. If you if you'd like porters, think of the heaviest and dirtiest driest porter you've ever <laughs> drank in your life. It dry is a great word. It's so dry, that is a great dude. word. For My that. tongue feels dry. It tastes like I just licked a chalkboard. <laughs> That's that is, pretty. That's dude. I can you, taste. You taste the chalk. The I chalkiness. can taste English class. <laughs> like the chalkiness of that beer. Oh god, I can taste fucking chalk. Oh fuck. That's very fucking chalk. I'm pretty sure chalk tastes better. Oh. I'd probably eat chalk before I'd eat that or drink that beer again. Yeah, Honestly. I'm not. I'm not doing another one. If any of you guys want four bottles of Narwhal, hit, hit us, us up. up. <laughs> yep. Free charge. We'll yep. just dump that shit off at your house. Yeah, that we're we're gonna give it to a hobo or something. I mean. Is that, is that like kind of cruel? Here's some beer. It tastes great. No, we'll tell them. We'll tell them like, hey, man, this stuff tastes like shit. If you want to drink it, go ahead. There's one that sits right over here all the time. <laughs> right in front of Walmart. <laughs> we'll give it to him. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so shitty. No, no we'll tell them. Terrible tasting we'll tell them. We'll tell them. We'll, we'll tell them. Hey, man. You know, I know you're out here you're trying to scrape for change all day, but... I got some terrible beer. <laughs> I know it's right up your alley. It's warm. I kind of left it outside, but it's okay. 
on the next episode. <laughs> We're not giving beer to a homeless guy. On the episode. <laughs> oh, that's not what you're going to say. Yeah, I was going to say that. No, we're not doing that shit. <laughs> that's a great idea. It's a terrible idea. In no the comments, beer. in the comments, tell me if you would have liked to see that. Oh, On to the next beer. Uh, so we can keep things moving. Throw the 312s away. What is the, hey, the next beer is way better than this shit. It is zombie dust. I've actually had this before. Oh, this is Pink Floyd's. I'm always Pink Floyd's. Three Floyd's. <laughs> <laughs> Pink Floyd does not make beer. <laughs> I wish Pink Floyd made beer. This is probably be great. This is Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> <laughs> this is Three Floyd's Zombie Dust. I've had it before. I like it a lot. I've heard a lot about and it. I thought you'd like it. So I, I I've heard a lot about it. it. I had to get one beer I knew we'd like, and this was the one. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Three Floyd's Zombie Dust. Zombie Dust. Zombies. Did you ever play Call of Duty Zombies back in the day? Yeah. hundred times better. My God. Okay. I could drink 10 of these right now. It's my first time trying zombie dust. <laughs> Let's do it. So much better than that. Like, just, just the change in taste. Beer to beer. So much fucking better. I'm sorry. Like, wow. Maybe that's more shade towards the R-Wall. But zombie dust. That's got a lot of, like, it's orange. Good. Got a lot of orange in it. All right. What, uh, next car. What's the next car we got here? The Porsche Taycan. Dude, it looks like the last car. It looks like the BMW. Oh, but hold on, buddy. There's one it's big thing about door. it. It's another four door. G- can you guess? Can you guess? Look at that picture right there. Don't look at anything else. And can you guess what's special about that Porsche? What's on that fender right there? On the left, on the left fender. Left fender. That, that little Porsche. circle. Little little tiny circle. Yeah, that car's all electric. It's, it's the all first electric. all electric. That's Porsche. right. So it's, it, it's self-driving too? Uh, maybe, but it's so fucking fast. Um, look up some specs on it. I so wouldn't have guessed that that was, uh, that was all electric. Should yeah, it's by the name. So this car is to combat the, uh, the Tesla Model S, which is the fastest Tesla out there. Well, the Model S P100D, that's the fastest Tesla out there today. Two permanent magnet synchronous Man. electric motors. Output 616 horsepower. And all I'm saying is right, for, right from the start, right? Dollar to horsepower ratio compared to the BMW M8. <laughs> okay. This thing's already better. Still yeah, not as okay, good as the okay. Corvette. You're right. You're right. But you're if right. you're trying to save the environment, this thing is all electric. So That blows my mind. That blows my mind. 103 grand. Price. That's a 2020 Porsche Taycan, yeah. the first year that's ever been made, and it's an all-electric hypercar. Um, Very reasonable. The range. Now, the range is not as good as a Tesla. That's the one thing. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, 192 to 201 miles um, versus your Model S. Uh, I don't know what the, I don't know what the fucking range on it is, but I mean Elon's been doing this for years. I think it's about 350 miles. I'll go ahead and double check that real quick. 390 miles. About double. 390 miles for the Model S. And also the Model S is about $20,000 cheaper. So again, um, damn it. You know, <laughs> if you're talking, it's about the same. Uh, well, cuz what's the horsepower out of the Model S? So, um Teslas, they have this mode called ludicrous mode. And if you have one, you fucking know about it. But it's literally, it's from the movie Spaceballs. And is it? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? No, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, it's from the movie Spaceballs. It, like when that when instead of hyperspeed, it's called ludicrous speed. Speaking of Spaceballs, I was at the bar the other night. <laughs> and there's this dude. His last name is Schwartz. No fucking yeah, way, dude. His name is Schwartz. I, I was like, hey, can I get you, what can I get you, man? Asked for a beer. I'm like, what's your last name? Schwartz. I'm like, oh, I like space balls. He's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's heard it way too He's many probably times. heard it a million times, but a lot of space balls. So if you haven't heard about the uh, Tesla Cybertruck, you, you don't have internet. You don't have internet. You don't have internet. internet. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Uh, nope. The Cybertruck is hands down the weirdest looking truck ever made. And people wonder why it looks like that. It looks like a fucking Warhog off of Halo. Um, and it's because of the steel it's made out of. Um, and if I, if I remember right, it's something like triple X cold rolled steel. Uh, it's all, all of it. Yeah. And it's basically, uh, not stampable. Normal steel, when you put it into 300 series stainless steel is what it's made out of. But normal steel, when you put it into, when it goes through an assembly line, uh, you can lay a piece of steel flat and it goes through basically a, uh, hydraulic press and it can press out the shape of a fender, a door. But with this steel, it's so fucking hard that you can't press it out 
Now, are they what, making these in the colors? What is kind of interesting, yeah. Even though it's made in stainless steel, Tesla is providing different colors for the Cybertruck. Colored stainless steel? Colored stainless steel. Now, that's fucking cool. That's so cool. Yep. Um, and it's without a paint job, like I said, because it's colored stainless steel. It's not actually paint. It's the color of the steel. And it confirms matte black so you can look cool for your homies. Yep. 30X cold rolled stainless steel is the act. Well, I imagine, you know, as it comes at most Tesla modifications, it's going to be a lot more expensive if you do opt in to the different colors um, rather now, than the, the, you know, the standard stainless steel. Does this have self-driving software like a normal Tesla? Yeah, it's... Oh, my God. I The lines are so sharp. Like, you got to wonder, can you cut yourself on the edges of this car? They're fucking. There is something else. I'm telling hey, you, you what. You drag your hand across the edge of this car. Will it cut your hand? If this, uh, if this got a dent in it, it would be a nightmare for a body man. How straight the fucking steel is and how hard it is. Warthog green. Oh my god, there it is. Now the silver looks good, dude. This the steel, just the brushed steel look. I think it looks great. If you, if, it's got headlights, right? Is that what that bar is? Uh, yeah, if they're fucking DOT approved i guarantee i guarantee when this car is when this truck this cuck whatever <laughs> when this car truck i had one of them yeah i know you did when whenever this thing is on the road it's not gonna look like it what it does now you know i've always been curious about is how many bullets one of their windows can actually take because we all saw i mean famously the tesla cyber truck did not withhold yeah with a lead ball it was a lead ball <laughs> it did not withhold a lead ball being thrown in its window during uh, Elon's presentation. But how many bullets can it actually take? Because there were some mechanical malfunctions that are related to that. Because they were hitting the door with the sledgehammer beforehand. Mm-hmm. And apparently it cracked the glass at the base of that window. Oh. And because that glass was cracked, it allowed the whole thing to shatter yeah. when the lead ball was thrown. Oh my God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. Uh, <laughs> should we try it? <laughs> Sorry? Okay. It didn't go through. Let's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try the right. Okay. Try that one, really? Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, man. It didn't go through. I mean, it's just saying, you know, it's 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 cool that it repelled the ball. When when I say the glass shattered, the glass fractured. Yeah. But it did not completely shatter. So you still had a window. And the shatter in the glass was only through the first layer. It wasn't, it wasn't through, I don't know how many layers that are in the glass, but it was only through the first layer that it actually cracked. You ever seen the video of the uh, bulletproof Mercedes where the, the guy takes the AK-47 and shoots the window of a Mercedes? No. Yes. You can look it up. Yeah. All right. All my gun nuts out there. Uh, I'm going to explain this video before it pops up. The guy takes an AK-47. Yep. 762 by 39. This is what it's like to be shot with an AK-47. In a Mercedes. And he so. shoots a fucking windshield with a My guy in it. My name is Trent Kimmel, president and CEO of Texas Armor Corporation. When it comes to assuring our client's safety, we take product testing extremely seriously. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty crazy. That was legit AK. That was seven six two by thirty nine. It wasn't five four five by thirty nine. It wasn't five five six. That is one of the fucking <laughs> most damaging spade, spade bullets over here. Trying to get in the top shelf of this little uh, TV stand. We got get in there, here. buddy. Get in there. You can get it, buddy. <laughs> get in there, buddy. <laughs> he can't get it. He's stuck. Aww. Oh, he came out. Oh, he almost had it. Better like me. That's pretty time. funny. Um, All right, let's let's go back to. Uh, Let's let's take a look at a couple of the cars we looked at today, but fifty years ago. You want to do that? Years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Corvette. Start, start with Corvette. Corvette. Start with Corvette. Corvette uh, C one. I think we start from the beginning. Let's start with the beginning with Corvette. Okay, all right. Because it, Fair I mean, it was made in nineteen fifty three. Because these are, these are honestly like look at that view. These aren't 
And these are almost exclusively convertibles back in the day. Dude. I don't know. Have you ever seen one that's not been a convertible? Mm-mm. You can see I'm one dude, Corvette. Imagine shagging in the back of that thing. <laughs> I know they had hard top versions, but like I don't know if there was any C1 model Corvette that did not have the top come off. And as I'm scrolling through these pictures right now, I don't see one. Johnny's kinda, always kinda been crazy. A, it's how you know it was made to be a sports car. He's always been a Corvette guy. Always Corvette guy. That's one of my, you know, go tos. No go-tos. wonder you sell two life earlier. things. No I, I got to own a Corvette at some point. That's fair. Even if it's a real shitty, you know, '99 Corvette that like nobody wants. It was like put outside a junkyard just because somebody was like, I don't like, fucking want this thing. It's like 200 out of plastic. Horsepower. Even there, that looks like a hard top, right? It doesn't look like it's not meant to come off. No, no. I, I think these. I think these honestly are some of the coolest, coolest Corvettes that you can buy. I'm definitely tipsy. Is it fucking normal? These are actually really refreshing. Yeah. Zombie dust. I like them a lot. Now go to 1970. I want to see exactly 50 years ago. 1970 Corvette. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the '69 more. I hope you know what else I like the '69 more. The Mustang. <laughs> Mustang. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I love a 69 uh, Fastback. I do. Now now go to the 70. Mm. So, okay. I, I, so like, that's, I that, like the model. I like the model of the 1970 Corvette. But the 69 Stingray, man, it's just it's fatter. It's got that hood scoop that you just can't miss. It's got hips. <laughs> it's got the hip. That's a great way to describe it. Hips, Corvettes man. have hips. And the 1969 Corvette has some fucking hips. You just want to smack that ass. <laughs> My God, are those hips good? Now, okay, now that seventy. Who does that remind you of? There's a white, like a, like a person. There's a white Corvette back in Paris. Maybe you didn't meet him, but the guy. I know the guy. I know who you're talking. Yeah, I don't know his name. Yep. Okay, so there's there's something cool about this Corvette that he had. He kept the original eight track in it, and he put an eight track it to wasn't, cassette wasn't. converter. And then cassette to auxiliary converter, and it stuck out the dash about a dick long. But his his uh, <laughs> his Corvette, it it wasn't a 1970; it's a 78. So it was right on the cusp of that you know that era where the horsepower started to come out of those vehicles because of all the regulations that the states were putting out. Mm-hmm. But still beautiful. And that was that's I love I love the model of the the late 70s early 80s That's corvettes beautiful. but they ran like shit because of all the you know well this was emissions the, regulations this was yeah this was in the midst of yeah. the transition from corporation to EFI That's also true. Yeah and yeah. and and people were trying to figure out EFI and shit like that and 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 some some cars were like no nah, we're going to stay old school we're we'll stay carburetor and then some guys were like no nah, we're going to go fucking electronic fuel injection but some other guys were like we'll do both yep and they had their carbureted injection. And yep. I actually had an old truck like that. Yep. Which I might pop up on screen. It was a 93S10 pickup. <laughs> I painted it orange with white racing stripes. <laughs> and I used a roller painter. Yep. Yeah. It's good times. <laughs> Love high school. Disclaimer, the paint the paint stayed sticky for how many days? Well, I put a clear coat on. It stayed sticky for how many days? No, before the clear coat. <laughs> it's only about a week because i realized it wasn't going to dry because it oh, turns yeah. out roller paint was actually deck paint and the deck paint this is orange because the orange is meant to absorb into the wood and make it dark mahogany all right mahogany. deck paint's not meant to go on metal and so it won't dry unless it you soaks put a clear coat on so Ugh. i put a clear coat on that bitch and it, i mean you got some little pieces of fabric woven in there from the the, the roller. rollers but overall i mean it was it was pretty cool looking yeah that was before i painted cars he could have just came to me uh after that was that. before you painted cars yeah yeah, yeah. But was, it, also you know how much it cost me zero dollars because i didn't even buy that pa- can of paint i found it <laughs> i found that can of paint i found that can of paint i found those rollers and i painted that thing in one day and it it looked great for the amount of money i put in you talk about dollar to horsepower ratio how about dollar to paint can ratio? How much horsepower? That's probably like 83 horsepower. I think it had over 100, man. I think it was fast. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was fast. It had no weight because all the interior was stripped except for the two bucket seats. This is an S10 in the, in the center of the console. There's a six-speed six S10. And in the center console, there wasn't a console. Mm. It was empty, and it, you saw bare metal on the bottom, the bottom of the thing. That's character. It had some fucking character. And that thing, you can ask Jake Ormiston. 
That thing was fucking fast. Shout out, Jake O. <laughs> Jake O. We'll have him on here sometime. Oh, yeah. 100%. He, now, Jake O is the diesel guy. I, I don't know shit about diesels. That's me. Jake O. You know, I will say one thing. Brace yourself, buddy. You're coming. I will say one thing about diesels. Uh, you know, back back in like 2010 era, up until 2015, I feel like stacks in diesel trucks were huge, right? Oh, like you yeah. saw stacks <laughs> everywhere. Nowadays, nowadays, stacks, those are kind of going out of style. I don't see stacks in diesel trucks anymore. They're like cargo pants. I saw, I saw <laughs> one. It's, d- stacks are like cargo pants. Diesel stacks, stacks are like, are like cargo, cargo pants. pants. You don't see them anymore. Everybody's wearing pleated shorts. Nope. Right? And the pleated shorts of diesel trucks are just the big old tip exhaust that you see yep. on most yep. diesel trucks nowadays. Yep. People wore cargo well, pants to, see, to today, cover up a small wiener, reason, and stacks covered up a small wiener. reason I... <laughs> Anyway, the reason I bring this up is because of the I saw a diesel truck today driving back home with a dual exhaust stacks. Out right. the what? Two big old at, le- at least fucking five inch exhaust stacks coming out the back. Slanted and everything. The fucking the right the on bed. the back. Both sides of the bed. Two oh. stacks. Yeah, two stacks. I was a four on a Ford. Yep. God damn. Goodbye, Ozone. My, my, <laughs> goodbye, Ozone. A, a, I mean, I don't know. I don't really. I mean, I know a little about. I don't really know about how, diesels. How I know they it, take but. glow plugs instead of spark plugs. But there's a certain thing called back pressure with your exhaust. A, a lot of people cut off. It. They cut off their catalytic converters, which, uh, in layman's terms, they burn off excess fuel that comes out of your exhaust. And when you just cut off a fucking catalytic converter, it fucks with your motor's back pressure. Your motor has a vacuum. And it, it'll fuck with your computer and it'll throw off your air to fuel. You'll either run too lean or too rich. Um, and when people just do that without fucking with the computer and just straight piping their car, it just sometimes it's not the best for it. It's not the best for it. You'll lose fuel economy. You'll, you'll lose power. It might sound louder, but you might lose some shit in the end. Yeah. That's why if you take out your cats, you usually want to reprogram your computer or even get high flow cats. They're designed to flow faster but still burn off your fuel they're like california compliant and shit like that damn that was a fucking tangent <laughs> yeah that was a big big old tangent yeah but, damn but man i don't know dual stacks on a truck five inches at least i don't see that you getting any now you could fit a small human in there if a small human you can fit a baby in that yeah Imagine you a think baby. the back pressure is enough to eject a baby out of the... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a baby cannon out the back of a diesel truck <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hell of a visual. You know, speaking of exhaust, last weekend, <laughs> we had the great idea, the we great did. greatest idea, to see how we could uh, make grilling marshmallows just a little bit more fun. And uh, this, well, that, this next video, it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll show you. The- it, didn't, uh, it didn't go so well. Yeah, dude, this is just not working. Yeah, and I've got an idea. Usually Austin uses these to light his cigarettes, but today we're gonna be lighting marshmallows. Oh, yeah. Delicious. Austin, how did that last marshmallow taste? Like shit. So we're gonna use an exhaust manifold. Nope. Nope. Oh, yummy. How's that one taste? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking nasty, man. <laughs> but for real? That, that'd be pretty good right there. Alright. That last marshmallow. Pretty tasty, but I think it could be better. I got an idea. Oh yeah, nice and toasty. It's pretty delicious to me. <laughs> Beautiful.
Oh yeah. Hmm. I'm sorry. Beautiful. Thanks for the marshmallows, buddy. Those are pretty good. Anything for you, pal. And with that, back to the studio. No, dude, that first good. that first take when uh when you you came straight off the header and I went, mmm, what did I say? Oh, delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Mmm, delicious. <laughs> and then I said, it tastes like shit. <laughs> I wonder why it tastes like shit. Uh, dude, probably fucking... Uh, how old is that truck? It's a 97. Oh, God. I will say one thing. It has dirt on it as old as me. No, 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 no maybe not. <laughs> All right? We don't know what, what month of 97 that truck is. <laughs> okay. Also, I've cleaned the, the, that exhaust manifold before. I've cleaned it. At least once. With what? With how do you? Huh? How you just you wipe it, it off. Uh, okay, maybe it's not the most sanitary, but at least wipes it off. There's not like dirt and grime, and you know whatever else you find in a usual exhaust manifold on <laughs> old cars. I don't. New cars don't really collect much grease. I'm pretty sure I've, I've. I can stay up, dude. I'm pretty sure I got. I got. I don't know what I have you to paint tomorrow. Surprise! That narwhal. If you want to drink three beers and one beer, that's 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 good for you. Yeah, Narwhal. Um, yeah. We've been drinking since we were probably you start drinking. sixteen or seventeen. I started drinking at twenty-one. It was absolutely illegal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know what's so funny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, we don't condone underage drinking, but shit happens. Um. But uh, yeah, that is one of the heaviest beers I've ever had in my life. Uh, not zombie dust, but uh, narwhal. narwhal. Like, it's a, I mean, it's worth a try, and you'll go, and you'll think we're you'll think we're pussies for how we reacted, but no, it's this that's another that's another level. But, yeah, hundred uh, percent. I wouldn't drink one either, though. I I just drink two of these. Yo, yeah, I drink four. I'd rather drink a six pack than one of those. Yeah. Yeah, I'd Same. rather I'd rather you give me a six pack in this and say that's got to be gone in thirty minutes, than and one narwhal gone in thirty minutes. Yeah, that's doable. Uh, my rating stands too. Mine's is a yeah. one. Yeah, so it's a combined one point five. Yeah. Um, I hey, know oh, we didn't talk about it. It's like a nineteen seventies what? Well, we'll hit it the next episode. Um. <laughs> well, no, not the one we didn't talk about. Give me one that we did talk about. That we today. did. Yeah, today, like a. Bronco. That's a fucking badass looking. Yeah. That's I mean, badass. It's just, did, I t- did I tell you? It's just, you know, in the same way that someone would draw a cyber truck, some, some kid drew Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, the kid who drew the Bronco, he was more artistic. Yep. Yep. He's he way was more artistic. A, he was in a single room yeah. schoolhouse drawing a Bronco and then some showed it to Ford and they're like, you know what? I bet we can make that look cool. That blue and black Bronco. Oof. It looks just like uh, uh, Dana White's Bronco. You know who Dana White is? She's a NASCAR driver. <laughs> I think it's somebody else. <laughs> There's some people laughing on there right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's, uh, Dana, he's Dana the president White. of the UFC. <laughs> oh, the dude. <laughs> <laughs> I I saw- I'm thinking of... Danica Patrick. <laughs> Is that what I'm thinking of? That's the hot race car girl. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking of. Okay. Uh, All I right, fucked that's that fair. up completely. That's fair. Too many uh, narwhals. Too many narwhals. Yeah, one, one or too many. many. Um, uh, Dana White had a uh, beautiful uh, blue and black Ford Bronco that looks just like that, and I saw it. It is currently at Dean Team Motors in St. Louis. What's your thoughts on the new Supra? Do you like them? Um, I, I do. You do? I'd be honest. Although I don't know if I like it as much as the old Supra. Okay. So, did you ever? <laughs> do you hear him? He's going at it. Spade's playing with a bottle cap. Um, you like that, buddy? Now, did you ever hear about the uh, Toyota FT1? It was the original Super concept. Now pull up that. Toyota now FT1. that is what the Supra should have looked like. The The Supra was supposed to come back originally. I, I remember this. I yes. do remember this. A lot of people uh, it was, remember it. It was big it. news, and yep. then it never happened. Yep. 
Now there is there is an automotive uh, fabricator that is bringing back the FT1, and uh, they're putting it on a new Supra chassis. So it's going to be a full blown what the Supra should look like as a reimagining, um, and uh, that'll probably be a, at least at least I half honestly, a year. Compared to the new Supra, I think that looks better. You see that white Z4 on the bottom? Yeah. Uh, right there. Yep. See the resemblance to a fucking Supra body. The body, yeah. the you body. Know, I drove one of these. I've driven one of these. The body panel these, on the these side. Cars, these are really smooth cars. Did you know that Toyota's motor the, in the Supra was made by BMW? And it's the same motor out of a Z4 and a Z3. Is it just tuned up a lot? Uh, no, it makes like 300 something horsepower. <laughs> in the Supra? Yeah. Yeah. Supras make way more than 300 horsepower. No, they? look them up. In the new ones or the like, old it's ones? Like, no, no, no. The new ones. The new the ones new are ones. like... Because the old ones made a shit ton of horsepower. If you did the right things. The the the, 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 the original... Ooh, listen to that stutter. Settle the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at my mic. It's going on the side. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Let me just tighten that up a little bit there. All right. Dis, dis. <laughs> no shit. You want to you play our game? What kind of game? Oh, we got to review the beer. <laughs> okay, finish your beer so we can finally All review right. this fucking thing. Yeah. Sorry. I'm going to take one more sip before I get back. This intensely hopped and gushing undead pale ale will be, the, will be one's only respite after the zombie apocalypse created with our marvelous friends in the comic industry. Art by Tim Seeley. Shout out, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Seeley, if you're watching. I thank you. That was for Tim. <laughs> All right. You ready I for got rating? my number. Ready for ready? Yep. Three, two, one, seven. Eight. Seven we, we've been pretty fucking close. So 7.5? I, I, I definitely definitely put it above the uh, Goose Island th- yeah. 312. Same. Um, it's got a lot better uh, flavor profile throughout. This one, you hit the lemon like first off, and yep. then after that, it just falls off. This definitely holds its flavor yep. while you drink it. Yep. Um, like you know, I could drink, I could drink these all day, honestly. Even though it's an IPA. Yeah. I'm. I mean, you could definitely taste the IPA. It's got that classic IPA taste. If I yes. were to describe it, but it's not as hoppy as as you normal IPAs are. So. No, not at all. I, I think it's just a, a all around good beer. All right, game time. I scrambled up a brewery name for him, and he scrambled up a car name for me. Now, what should the punishment be if we get it wrong? <laughs> I was thinking a shot of Jim Beam. Yep. Is that what you were thinking? Yep. You both looked at the same time. I know. That's pretty good. All right. So, yeah. if you get the name wrong, if you get the full name wrong and you can't get any of it, the shot of Cuervo. The full name? If, but if no, you, we were out of Cuervo. All we got is left is Jim Beam, honey. Oh, we're out of Cuervo? Yeah, Cuervo's empty. Hey, Siri. Man. Give me is... a minute on the clock. Okay, uh, okay. What is the what is the first letter? What is the first one to start with? Can I tell you that? Is that? I'll give you, I'll tell you yours. All right. It starts with L. R. Fuck. I'm telling you, it's something I thought you wouldn't think of. The the first of this of these two words starts with an R. Yes. It's pretty fucking dense. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we oh, go. Oh shit, what you got? The, I'm gonna make up this this word. <laughs> the Ritland Regal. Wrong. It's oh. the Reliant Regal. Oh, Reliant! Oh, dude. The cousin to the Reliant Robin. <laughs> Fuck, man. Pretty fucking close. The Reliant Regal is more like a van version of the Robin. Dude, I couldn't figure out the first... I, I just made up a word. But now that I see Reliant... Fuck, dude. Yep. I was thinking like Austin Motors or like or something crazy because I knew you were going to think of a small motor company or like yeah. AMC. I was trying to think of something that you wouldn't think of. You know? That was good. If, that was good. If it was anything Ford, Chevy, or Dodge, you'd fucking know it immediately or even anything, you know, Italian. All right. Now so, you go. You going to put a minute on the clock? You were supposed to be doing it on my minute. <laughs> it was together. <laughs> oh, it was? Oh. Yep. Okay. I didn't know that. You got it? You got a minute? 
Don't you be searching shit. I'm not searching anything. God How about I search? Damn it, boy. How about I search something? He's a cheater, motherfucker. I don't cheat. I swear. I gave you such a good hint. Like, you should know this shit. No. I mean, I know it's something vanilla porter. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? Are you fucking serious? Yeah, it's something vanilla porter. I don't. I've never drank a vanilla porter. To be honest with you. Is it some kind of big brewery? Yes, absolutely. It's a big brewery. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna laugh. Your I'm gonna kill myself. You're gonna laugh your fucking ass off. <laughs> I mean, there's a K. There's a K in it. <laughs> I don't know if I fucking heard of this thing. All right, give me give me a guess, <laughs> bro. Okay, here we go. I don't fucking know. Guinness Vanilla Porter. Wrong. Lining Kugels. <laughs> <laughs> I know Lining Kugel made a Vanilla Porter. Yeah. All I've heard is Lino Kugels How do you not know that? Look at that. Look at that. Man, Man there's so many letters in that. That's that's a lot. Oh, my God. Oh, I, I did not know I that. even put the apostrophe. Comment below S. if you knew what that fucking was. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. I, I know All somebody right. out Well, there. it looks like we're both taking shots. So right, that's fair. So, you know, who's really the winner here? Okay. Shot time. Happens, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God damn. Oof. 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 Big oof. Big oof. Hey, now. Hey. Hey, hey, we'll bring it around town. Krusty Krab pizza is a pizza for you and me. <laughs> Bro, mine's up to the first line. Where's yours at? Well, give me some of that then. You're a bartender. I'm a Thanks. fucking... Thanks. Dude. He's, trying, he's trying to pour himself a shallow shot. Whatever. That's where mine's at. Bitch ass. It's a, it's a full shot. <laughs> That's a full ass shot. <laughs> Woo! Hit me All in right. the wiener. Well. Why did I say that? <laughs> I guess. That's good enough. Okay. Alright. I guess we're cheersing to uh, first Reliant. episode. Which is, no, we're cheersing to Reliant. It. And Lion and Kugel. Okay. To rely it and, and line of Google. Google. It's not bad. No, it's not that bad. Definitely want to fix some beer after that. I got a cut in my lip. Oh. <laughs> oh. It hits you after Whoa. you drink it. Oh, that fucking. Oh, yeah. That is. That was, uh, what was that? Jim Beam Honey. Jim Beam Honey. It's good. Uh. Hits you a few seconds after you take the shot. If you guys want a good summer drink, uh, just pour some sweet tea into a glass with some ice. Pour some Jim Beam honey and then uh, put a put a lemon yeah, slice in there. Absolutely, it's good. Or even even uh, Jim Beam sour. Oh, very, I, very good. I would have, like. Is it sour apple? No, Jim Beam sour, sweet and sour mix. Really, I didn't yeah. even know that existed. Mm -hmm. Fucking sour, bartender, Jim Beam sour, Jim Beam honey. Very good. If you've made it this way, that means that you guys have. Kind of liked us talking for this long, so we appreciate it. Yep. Uh, so anyway, if you want to support us and you want to, you know, keep these podcasts going, go ahead and uh, subscribe and hit that bell notification. And of course, make sure to like the video and comment your favorite part below. Yep. Exactly. And, you know, to that, I can say cheers. Yep. I'll see no you next week. Left.